I think the opportunities we have is Sri Lanka is the second largest pool of technology folks, second to India in Sri Lanka. We have a literate population of 98 plus percent. We have the, one of the largest, most significant mobile digital internet penetration per capita. Fabulous resources. What do we do with this? Right? So the opportunity that we have is Sri Lanka's IT industry, if I may speak from uh, Slashcom, which is the IT body, um, and our target is we are today about one to two billion dollar industry, we want to make it a five. And in that journey, the amount of opportunities we have is to make Sri Lanka a preferred green IT BPM destination of choice. And we believe we have the capability. Now, being green and as, uh, is one, but we also want to be a responsible industry. And how do we make it happen? So, Vertuza um, is probably, uh, you know, I'm, I'm representing Vertuza from a global sense as well. We are probably in the 98th percentile of the most responsible companies with the EcoVardis rating of gold and so on, uh, reporting into the carbon disclosure project. So what we did was, for Sri Lanka, we've uh, been championing the ESG Sustainability Forum for Slascom, and touching upon what our colleagues have said, and I'll refer to them as I go along, is about taking accountability and responsibility. And using this as an opportunity to do what is right. What is your purpose of your company? And in doing so, how do you make it happen? So, flipping back to the initial thought I had of a green IT BPM destination, today we have opportunities to go renewable, and Dr. Fernando pointed this out. The private sector is absolutely willing, and we talk of lack of funds. I don't think we have a lack of funds. We have a lack of implementation, right? The mm. sector is committed to uh, uh, going, uh, uh, moving from brown power to green power. We as company policies have 20% EV mandatory towards our supply chain. It's about future-proofing your organization. It need not be IT. It can be anything. And your supply chains to survive the climate challenges we have. Right. These are times of uncertainty. There is a times of volatility, ambiguity, complexity. We've never seen these challenges before. And technology is a great leverage. Look at COVID. COVID was the, great, uh, the enabler of one of the greatest global digital transformations that ever happened. None of us ever thought we'll work from home in this fashion. None of us realized. And when you reduce consumption, you bring in operational efficiencies, you bring in profitability. So being sustainable is profitable. There is no question about it. And touching on the earlier aspects that we spoke about, I uh, sort of believe in the seven P's principle, which is this cannot be done alone. It's not going to work with three of us here. But what will work is a focused effort of private public partnership with a purpose and a passion for people and planet. The seven Ps. Seven Ps, right? The seven Ps uh, of that. Now, what does this mean to the audience? It's about being a conscious decision. Are you contributing to the problem or are you contributing to the solution? It's a simple question to ask. And in saying so, it's about flipping the script in every decision we make as a corporate, as a business, or as an individual from a me and a now decision or a us and a later decision. You don't need to be anyone else. Today, if you take, I, I was pleased to see no plastic bottles on the table, right? And uh, are we taking a plastic bottle for me and now because I'm thirsty, or am I using a glass bottle that is washed and clean, which is a us and a later decision? And these are the things, the world, planet has exhausted its resources. We've plundered it. We need to give back. We need to give back, not just back, we need to rebuild. So it takes us to that whole concept of a us and a later decision. 